All right. So now we're going to talk about using Apex to work with data on LWC component. So we can use um, Apex in two ways. Um, before we actually discuss about that, um, well, let's talk about using Apex method with Lightning Web Components. What are the requirements? So this is important here, okay? An Apex method used in a Lightning Web Component must be static, public, or global, and annotated with at aura enabled immediately before the method definition. At aura enabled annotation makes the Apex method available to Lightning Components, both Lightning Web Components and Aura Components. So, allowing the framework to cache data eliminates repeated server calls, making feature read operations run faster. So that's important. We mark a method as cacheable by setting cacheable equals true in the aura enabled annotation. So when aura enabled method is cacheable, DML, data manipulation language operations are not allowed. Remember that. So when we're using cacheable, we cannot use any DML uh, statement in our code, meaning we can't update records or insert records, right? We can do select. In, a, in line two of this example, we make this get related context method cacheable. So as it's um, outlined up above, it has to be public. And on this case, public with sharing class and the, the class name is account controller. It, it's aura enabled in, in, and cacheable equals true. So this is a cacheable method. Public method, it has to be static and list, returning the list of contact, right? The name of the method is get related contacts and it's accepting account ID as a parameter. So basically it's just doing a SQL and return it back. That's basically what it does. So let's create this class. So go to your Visual Code Studio. I'm gonna copy this class name and flip back here. And on the class here, let's make a new class. Create Apex class, okay. I'm going to pass, uh, paste that account controller default. Oh, oh yeah, this is from our, let's, what do you think? Let's not, let's make a new name, okay? So I'm going to make a new class here, a new class. Let's name that account controller 2. Right, so make note of that. Make sure you, you also make the same modifications default. So we have account controller two because on the previous video, we were doing the example and we we're using the account controller. Okay, so this is account controller two. So we don't lose what we had before. So I'm gonna flip back here and copy this code for our class and paste that. So we've talked about this, right? Flip back. Now we're going to create a lightning web component. So we're going to use at wire to actually use our get related contacts here. Okay. So I'm going to name this wire apex property, new lightning web, co web component. All right. So I'm going to flip back over to my visual code. We're done with the classes here. Make a new one here. New um, Lightning Web Component. I'm going to name that Wire Apex Property. Default. Okay. And let's copy the code from here. Copy. And paste. And save. So this is pretty basic import lightning element API and wire from LWC library and import the get related contacts method from access source apex account controller and get related contacts. This is two. 
Remember that too, because we modify it, right? The one is the previous video, uh, which is the different class. Now this is a, the one we just made, account controller two dot get related contacts. And everything else looks good. And I'm gonna save this, okay? Next, we are going to get the, let me close this one here. The HTML, which I don't think is available um, in the, on the here. Yeah, we're gonna make it ourselves. So I'm gonna copy the HTML from the previous video, which is the account list. Let's take a look at this guy. So I'm gonna copy this first, and then we're gonna add some lines on the JS, okay? So first I'm grabbing the the template here and go back to wire property.html. So I'm gonna paste our our stuff here. And this would be contacts.data because we are querying related contacts, right? And it's returning, I'm gonna save this guy first, it's returning contacts, right? So um, we we need to define the columns as well. So if I go back to my previous video's code, which is the list JS here. So first we need to do this whole thing here, okay? We need to import the fields and then um, we need to define the column, okay? and then we're ready to go. So I'm gonna do the column, uh, import the field first. So as you can see on the controller here, we are getting name, title, email, and phone, right? Name, title, email, phone. So I'm gonna get that same um, fields and put it on the JS for the one Apex property. So one, two, three, four. Name, title, email, oops, email, phone, right? So name, title, email, phone. And this is the contact.name. Let's fix that guy. Contact name, contact title. Contact email. And contact phone. Okay. So now we've imported these uh, fields. Now we can define the columns. Same thing, I'm just gonna copy from the account list JS here. So constant columns, we're gonna copy this whole thing. Go back to the wire JS again. like that. Um, the label is contact or just, just name. Name, we don't need to use contact, it's redundant. We know we're viewing the contact, title, email, and comma, phone. So this is the name field, this is the title field. This is the email field and phone field. Um, it's all text. Not really, this is email. Okay. All right, now we want to also pass the const, uh, uh, the column, the column, we can define the column. So let's pick up here again, columns equals 
that okay columns equals columns so where is it again wire um, apex js yeah so columns there and then columns here there so we have that um, and then I want to also copy the XML right but we are going to say this is for a record page not an app page so here record page so there we have it um let me close everything else um so it's not confusing anyways uh, we have the javascript here okay so we add the constant for defining the columns we add the importing of the field so we can define the columns and we add these columns so we can pass this to the html um, data table this is the data table here so this is a context data context data and that's pretty much it all right so now we are going to deploy this uh, wire apex property onto our trailhead playground deploy source to org let it deploy okay we've got something wrong oh again i repeat this a mistake deploy the class first right uh, account controller to class here let's deploy this guy first then deploy that remember we rename it account controller oops two right oh this is two account controller two miss that okay if you were uh, following make sure you change this okay account controller two i'm going to redeploy um deploy again okay that looks better so we have account controller two now we can deploy the lwc for wire apex property here deploy okay looking good right now we are going to actually use it flip back to our playground and let's open up an account with a contact okay account acme consulting let's do this one grand hotel resorts do we have oh yeah we have two contacts here so let's edit this page and drag our new component i'm going to edit this page and add our new lwc component onto the right side there uh, wired apex what is it called i forgot already is it this guy wired apex property right i think so yeah i'm going to drag it on the top there boom <laughs> it works i want to save that and go back there we have it awesomeness tim bar and john bond so that's how we use apex a wire property um, to connect with um, lwc okay next video we are going to call apex imperatively and pretty much the same but different different approaches why would we want to do this we'll talk about it in the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this 
same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.